What's up, money growers? Jacob back here with another video talking some credit cards today. This is one that is definitely particular to where I live here in Las Vegas. So I'm going to selfishly do this, mostly pertaining for the people who live in Las Vegas, Henderson, North Las Vegas, here in Clark County, in Southern Nevada, where I live. You come here to Las Vegas and visit, although you can definitely take advantage of these uh, casino properties about to talk about here. This is Station Casinos. They cater largely to the local population here in Las Vegas. Uh, they do have, I think it's 20 properties we're going to see here across the Vegas Valley. So they do get their fair share of tourists as well, but uh, the locals, this is like the place where they like to go so if you're over here from the vegas channel welcome please share to subscribe because i would love to have you over here as well this is where we talk about lots of stuff like this in the finance world particularly when it comes to credit credit cards offers travel stuff deals points all that kind of cool stuff and the benefits that can come along with this so let's go ahead and jump in as i take you guys through here now if we're looking at the my rewards mastercard from Station Casinos, okay? So this is issued by First National Bank of Omaha, which typically pulls from Experian, in case you guys didn't know. So <clears throat> the Station Casinos My Rewards program allows guests to earn boarding pass points, is what they call it. So I think it's like train, train station, boarding pass, you get it. So you get boarding pass points and status credits at any of the Station Casinos 20 properties located throughout the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, which offer a variety of gaming, non-gaming amenities. So the big ones you hear people talk about are the ones who actually end in the word um, station. So you have Fiesta Henderson. Well, that isn't in the station, but you get it. Fiesta Rancho, Boulder Station, Green Valley Ranch, uh, one of the big, one of the more popular ones here in the Vegas Valley. So the most popular one in Henderson. Palace Station, one of the more popular ones too, because it's right over by the Las Vegas Strip. Red Rock, probably their most popular property they have in their portfolio here in Las Vegas. Uh, that's in Summerlin. You have Santa Fe Station, Sunset Station, Texas Station, the Palms now. That's been a recent acquisition for them in the last few years. And you have all, all these other ones, Barley's Casino, all these wildfire properties and that kind of thing. So that's what they have here in the Vegas Valley. They have quite a presence here, and it's part of the reason the locals go to them so much. Now, if we're talking about the Station Casino Boarding Pass Rewards level, okay? Now, they have five levels. So I'm going to give you guys all five of these up here. So we start talking about... Um, credits and all that kind of stuff, you know, that'll make a little more sense. You just have an idea of what those points will give you. So this is like going to be your reference guide here that we have. So, you know, first off, you have the preferred card, right? So it's under a thousand, under a thousand credits. Okay. They're going to give you 10% gift shop cash discount. Cool. Not a bad place to start. Now the gold card, that's where you're up over a thousand. You get your 15% off the, the um, gift shop cash discount. Now, when you hear your platinum level, that's when you're at 40,000 credits. You're uh, 40,000 or more. Now, you, you're 20% off gift shop cash discount, 25% uh, buffet discount up to four people. So that's pretty awesome. Then you get your president card, 100,000 credits. Once you hit 100,000 credits or more, that's when you make it to president card. So you're almost, almost at the top at that point. Again, you're getting your gift shop cash discount for 25%. Private gated parking, and then you have 50%. A buffet discount up to four people and VIP hotel check-in. And the highest one they have of all of these, chairman card. 300,000 credits or more. So you get your 30% off at the gift shop. They love the, the gift shop discount. 30% gift shop cash discount. Your private gated parking, 50% buffet discount up to four. VIP hotel check-in, valet, next car up, VIP movie booth, VIP bowling lanes, and 20% catering cash discount. So they give those discounts, but they definitely want you to be paying cash with that. So that's when you get to the chairman level. So that's the highest level they have uh, of their five tiers. Now, as we move forward and we start looking at um, some of the other offerings that come, so like the sign-up bonus, okay? So here's what you get with the sign-up offer as of the making of this video. So you're going to get 10,000 status credits. You get automatic platinum boarding pass, so status upon arrive, uh, arrival. <laughs> thinking boarding passes status upon approval for exclusive event invitations and discounts 50,000 points after you spend a thousand dollars in the first three billing cycles after the account is open so i mean for most people a thousand bucks is not that much i mean hell you can lose that here in vegas really quick gambling but you can even just in your normal everyday life spending if you're visiting vegas uh, from somewhere else where you can't gamble a whole lot a thousand bucks for most people in three months is not a whole lot of money to spend so you also get fifty dollars in free slot play upon approval as well so that's the sign up offer they're giving right now now as we look more some of the benefits they give you so you get 30 points per dollar spent on station casino purchases 20 points per dollar spent on dining and travel so perfect for coming here to las vegas and then 10 points per dollar spent on everywhere else so um even if you don't I mean, even if you're not someone, well, if you're coming to, you want to come to Vegas re regularly to get this card. So it would only make sense if you live here or if you come to Vegas frequently enough that you can, you know, utilize these points. 
Now, anniversary bonus they offer. So 10,000 status credits when you spend $10,000 or more on your card during each 12 billing cycle period. Hmm? You're, you're local spending enough, you come to Vegas enough times, hey, 10 grand can be pretty doable for some people. Now, as we move forward here and look, so continuing with the benefits they offer, uh, also the complimentary hotel or late hotel checkout, right? Platinum status benefits. So you get three times boarding pass points uh, every day, 20% gift shop, 20 gift shop cash discount. You redeem the points for cash back and more. Now, some of the features, all right? You get earning bonus, earning bonus, oh man, struggling. Features, earning boarding pass points. That's a tongue twister. This may vary depending on the model of the gaming device played or if applicable, select live gameplay. Uh, so you're gonna get one base point for every dollar of coin in on video poker and multi-game boxes, video blackjack and electronic table games, unless otherwise designated. So you're also gonna get one base point for every dollar of coin in on video reel, real slot, and standalone Kino, unless otherwise designated. And then you're gonna earn one base point for every dollar in wagers for sports straight bets, sports parlay, sports teaser, sports parlay card, and in-house race play. So that's what you're looking at as far as points you're getting per dollar or for $2, depending on the scenario. Now, so earning boarding pass points, all right? So here shows you can get 20 base points for every dollar you spend. You can also get five base points for every dollar you spend. This one's particularly in bingo wagers. Uh, 15 base points for every dollar in Kino wagers. And then you get 1,000 base points for every one hour of live poker play. All right, features as we continue on with these. So you're gonna redeem the boarding pass points for slot play, cash back, and dining at station casinos, palms, fiestas, or wildfire casinos. Uh, there is no limit on the number of points that can be earned, which is good, so, but they may limit the number of bonus points awarded for certain purchases and or promotions. So yeah, with a the promotion, they may limit those kinds of things because you know they don't want people taking advantage of them too much. But there is no limit on the number of points that you can earn. Now, each point earned in the credit card rewards program will equate to one My Boarding Pass point, which will be redeemable only through the My Boarding Pass program. Now, some of the other features you wanna look at here. So points redemption, this is where you can redeem these as, is important. So point redemption for the My Boarding Pass reward points can be redeemed at restaurants, movie theaters, bowling centers, spas and salons, hotels, showrooms, bars, and lounges. Now the fees, here's the part that everybody wants to know, right? The, the tiny print of how much are the fees for this thing? So the fee with this card, so you want the My Rewards MasterCard by Station Casinos. Annual fee is $0.00. Monthly fee, zero dollars. Foreign transaction fee, zero dollars. Balance transfer fee, 10 bucks or 5% of the amount of each transfer, whichever is greater. That's pretty standard across a lot of a lot of credit cards. That's a pretty standard amount. Cash advance slash cash equivalent fee, either 15 bucks or 5% of the amount of each transaction, whichever is greater. Then annual, annual percentage rate, 19.99% for purchase and balance transfers. Late payment fee up to 40 bucks, pretty standard. Return payment fee, uh, up to 35 bucks, also fairly common as well. So, we're also going to take a peek here at how to apply. So obviously, you're gonna be here in Las Vegas, you gotta be at least 21, at least 21 years old, that's what you have to be to gamble here. Uh, to qualify for membership in the Boarding Pass program, you can sign up at a reward center uh, at any location or just online at um, sclv.com. You're gonna need your photo ID uh, when you're presenting it, of course, right? You're definitely gonna have to have your photo ID when you do it and, and you go sign up, okay? So you can use, you know, state-issued ID, government passport, military ID, or just government-issued green card. So anything that's pretty much government-issued that would be an acceptable form of ID is what you can use. With all of that being said, guys, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'd be happy to have you over here at Money Growth Project, whether you're returning and you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Or if you're brand new, hell, hit the subscribe button and please join me over here. I enjoy doing this, this is fun. Different for me than what I'm used to doing for so much over on the Vegas channel, but I like this kind of stuff and I enjoy doing what I can to help you guys with it. If there's something I missed, definitely tell me about it down in the comment section below. But until next time, thank you guys for watching and keep growing your money.